Look, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because this has been a bit of a cock up here. Yeah? Good morning everybody, you join me at 3.39 in the morning, we're in the yard and uh, we are going to Scammersdale today, we're doing something a little bit different rather than the bags again, um, in fact you might remember a couple of months ago we went to Scammersdale and we picked up a, a large porter cap, uh, it was like a one and a half metre overhang and also uh, slightly wider than the truck bed as well. That's what we're doing. So there's the truck. It's a bit dark, so you can't see it at the moment. Lights on. Yeah, baby. And uh, I just need to check that the oil level is all okay. Engine oil. Slightly above max, actually. They must have filled it up last night. Engine on. I'm going to put the card in. Excellent, hey. Right, so we are now going to do some daily checks. And uh, once those daily checks are done, we can then come back. Uh, man, that's bright. We, <laughs> we can come back and uh, sort out where we're going and stuff because I haven't got anything set up. So we need to spend 15 minutes getting ready as well as 15 minutes doing a daily check, uh, which is why I'm coming slightly early. So I'll, get, I'll do my checks and I'll see you in a bit. Right. We are good to go. I've done all my checks. Paperwork is ready to go. Sat nav is all set up. Uh, I've looked at where we're delivering the thing. I know where we're going because I've been there before in Scammersdale. But we're delivering it to Bloor Homes in Faction. Which could be interesting. I know uh, I know CJC delivers to a lot of uh, building yards, building sites. Um, and I know they're tight sometimes. So I'm hoping I'm not going to get anything too tight. There's the truck look, all ready to go. Let's just get a few shots of the old truck. Uh, it's a bit lighter now, so I can show you the trailer. So we've got the flatbed trailer on. We're picking up two 32 feet canteens to go on the back of here. There we go, look, there's the back of the truck as well. So we're all good to go. I need to jump in the cab now and get driving because we need to go get some fuel. Got no fuel, so let's go get some fuel first. I realise I said fuel quite a few times then. <laughs> and also we need to go before the, uh, the gate closes back up because the gate does close by itself. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's go grab some fuel. And uh, ooh, let's tighten you up a bit, you're a bit loose. Go get some fuel and then um yeah i don't know what we're gonna do it's a bit dark really to do some filming so i might have to wait till it's a bit lighter but i definitely get some footage of the of the night time turning into daylight that's for sure anyway let's get me your seat belt on let's turn the old light off and uh i'll see you in a sec Right, so we're now uh, filling up the fuel. We are, we're on the A419, uh, northbound. Um, that's far, I forgot where we were then. We don't normally fill up at a few uh, fuel stations, but uh, we are today. So, something different. We're gonna, we're gonna need to fill her up. By the way, apologies if I sound quite quiet. Normally I wear a mic when I'm outside, but I left it in the cab. So, we're gonna have to make do with, with this. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna fill it up. I reckon it's gonna be 450 to 500, maybe about 480 quid, something like that. That's fuel in the tank. We ended up putting in, I don't know why I touched you then, uh, it clicked off around about 482, I think, but we, uh, we got it up to 485. Nice round number, or well, roundish anyway. Right from here, it's a hundred.
163 miles, just over three hours drive apparently. So uh, let's get crack a in. See you guys when it's a bit lighter out. I know it's still dark and I know you can't see me very well, but you can see in front a little bit. Uh, it's now seven o'clock in the morning. We have done two hours and 50 minutes driving in total. And we're about 50 minutes, so 50 minutes, no, 40 minutes. 40 minutes away from our destination. ETA is just before 20 to eight and um, was told to be there by eight o'clock. So we are on schedule on time and uh, hopefully when we get there we'll be the first one there because um, I want to get out as soon as possible now I've been here to this place before uh, and as I previously mentioned I think the last time I come here I'd, I'd done a vlog and I, it was entitled like one and a half meter overhang or something like that uh, so go check that out uh, in my video library but yeah uh, last time I, I come here or one of the last times I come here you can be here for quite a while. Um, just gonna back off a little bit, give that truck some space. Yeah, um, I've, I'm pretty sure we left, we didn't leave sometime until like, I don't know, like 10 o'clock in the morning. We arrived at eight o'clock or just before eight o'clock and we sometimes didn't leave until gone 10. Uh, it took up quite a long time. Uh, not, that it, not that it should, I think it was just the fact that they, need, they needed to find the port of cabbing um, and that's what took the time get it loaded the last few times that I've uh, been here. The time is against me um, because I don't plan on doing a night out. I mean if I was doing a night out then it wouldn't matter um, but I do plan on getting home so not only is driving time against me but work time is against me as well. Uh, so yeah we, <laughs> we, need to, we need to keep an eye on driving time and stuff. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get back down to where we're going. Now we're going to uh, Thatcham, yeah, good Thatcham, um, which is just near Newbury, and it ain't too far really away from from our yard. It's about an hour away from our yard, so we will be going back via A34 Oxford and go that way, and then we need to come back up to Swindon. But driving time could be an issue. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get down to Thatcham. It might take more than four and a half hours, which means I will need to get a break in. I do have the destination set on the sat nav, so as soon as we get to where we're going to be in a second, in 37 minutes, as soon as we get there, I will put in the destination of the Thatcham place, just see how long it says we're going to take to get there. Um, but hopefully it don't take four and a half hours. We'll have to wait and see. I expect I'll, uh, I'll either have to get a half an hour break in on the way down, or a half an hour break in after we're being unloaded and coming back up. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're definitely gonna get a 15 in this morning while we're parked up before they open, because they don't open to eight o'clock. So we'll definitely get a 15 in. And uh, actually, no, scrap that. I've completely gone mind boggled here. We'll get a 15 in for sure. And then we're gonna get after, we're gonna have to have a half an hour in at some point because We've already done three hours of drive time. <laughs> uh, my mind has gone boggled. <laughs> so, depends how long they take to, uh, to load me. If, I would de like I said, I'll definitely get a 15 in. If they then take ages to load me, I can get half an hour in as well while waiting to be loaded. And then I might have to get another 15 in on the way down or 35, uh, 45, sorry. We'll see, we'll see. My mind is all over the place right now. It's too early in the morning to be working this stuff out because there's so many variables, do you know what I mean? Uh, it's just one of those things, you try and work it out, but it never, never ever goes to plan. But yeah, we started at 3.45 this morning. I would like it if we're back in the yard by 3.45. I don't really want to be doing any more than 12 hours today, but we'll see, we will have to see.
Okay, so it's now slightly lighter out. It's not pure daylight yet. It's sort of like, that's just the morning, isn't it? It's the morning sunrise, I suppose. I don't actually know where the sun is. It's yet to make an appearance. But uh, anyway, we're here now. We just need to go left at this roundabout. And then, uh, got to go straight over the next one and left at the one after that, and then we'll be here. Hopefully, well, fingers crossed, that's not a fingers crossed, that's a kiss, isn't it? Fingers crossed, we will be the first track here, but I don't know. Uh, it's 20 to eight now. We did get held up in a little bit of traffic on the M6, but um, hopefully we will be the first here, but we'll find out in a sec. Unfortunately, uh, on the M6, Trucker J in the UK was about half a mile behind me. That's all, half a mile behind me. Um, and we were trying to time it. I was going a little bit slow for, to enable him to catch me up. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. He had to come off and uh, it didn't, didn't work. About half a mile out, we reckon. <coughs> so we were so close, but, uh, but so far. But never mind. Anyway, let's go down here. I think it's down here. God, just wondering if it is actually down here. I'm pretty, yeah, it's down here. I remember now. Yeah, no, we were so close, but so far. So unfortunately, Chucker Jay's not on this vlog. He was very close to being on it, though. And also, it looks like we are the first here, so that's good. Now, the last time I was here, I was told I had to wait till the shutters were up on that building up there, and then I can go on in. Uh, all the shutters bar one are open. Yeah, you can get around me, that's good. Right, so we're here. Uh, we're at the very least gonna get a 15 minute break in, at the very, very, very least. Right, we are loaded and we are leaving. We are on our way. What the hell was that noise? Oh, yeah, welding stuff in there. We're on our way now to Thatcham in Newbury. I've had a little bit of a look. I know roughly where I'm going. Obviously, it's a it's a, uh, a brand new build building place, like a home site. So uh, it's not actually on the map. Do you know what I mean? But I've looked. If you Google um, Blore Homes Thatcham, it then comes up with I think it was Thatcham Place, which is the name of the place. So we can look for the, the uh, AA road signs, which will be in yellow. Hopefully it will say Thatcham Place somewhere. Um, but not only that, but once, if you Google that, then Google Thatcham Place, it'll come up with a, like a site map. And using that site map, along with Google Maps, you can kind of estimate where it is, where it's gonna be. So yes, right, I was aware I was gonna pick up one 32 foot canteen on my 44 foot trailer, which would have been fine. But I'm actually carrying two 24 foot um, storage containers so there is a four foot overhang <laughs> so it's just over a meter overhang on the back of the trailer right next challenge is to get through this gap without knocking anything I might have to go on the curb I think where the uh, where the cone is the yellow cone saying keep left might have to pop on the curb just to get past <coughs> we've been here since eight, uh, 20, what, 20 to 8 but um didn't get let in until eight o'clock, and it's now half past, well, nearly half past nine. So, um, yeah, nearly half past nine. So, um, what we're doing here, I'm just trying to concentrate. Yeah, we're nearly half past nine, so it's an hour and a half. I don't know why it took so long to get that out. It's because I'm concentrating. Oh my God. All well, these trucks are queuing up. All these trucks are queuing up. That's four Bevan trucks. That's who we're doing this job for. At Swindon. All four of them. All four trucks queuing up. Uh, <laughs> we're the first one. Nice. Uh, yeah, so that's good. <laughs> Beat the queue. Got in first. Right, so three hours, 51 minutes to do to get back. Um, we, uh, like I said, we've been in there for an hour and a half. I had a 15 minute break this morning before I was even let in and I had a half an hour break in there um, because it took so long they had to basically inside these containers I should probably say inside these containers there is other stuff there's uh, 
the staircases in them and they had to put the staircases in them but they didn't put them in them before I arrived so they had to put them in them while I was there so I got another half an hour break in. So technically we got four objects we're delivering four things but two of the things are in two of the containers if that makes sense does that make sense i think it does anyway we're gonna get crack a in like i said four hours just under four hours to get there and then when we get there we need to have another 45 minute break uh we'll probably we'll probably get to achieve services and have a 45 minute break because we won't have enough time to get back in that drive time Never mind. Oh, interesting fact, where that lorry is, I once stopped there, it's a bus stop, but I once stopped there temporarily, last time I was here actually, because my cigarette lighter stopped working and I had to quickly change the fuse. Random fact, I know, but there we go. That's what I'm all about, random facts. Am I all about random facts? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. I've been talking too much now. I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. Ah, oh, right, we have now been driving for four hours and one minute. We are on the A34, just about to come off to go to the services. We're going to be stopping at Cheverly Services for a while. We are the first ones to actually make our way back down south. Um, like I said earlier, all these Bevan transport trucks, they are also doing it. And uh, not only are they also doing it, but I need to wait for one of them to come and offload me. And I just got off the phone to the, the guy who's nearest to me behind me and he reckons half past three is his eta to site it's half past one now <laughs> so yes not looking uh, not, not looking very good but i need i need a 45 minute break anyway so i'm on four hours drive time so i'm gonna go and have a 45 minute break uh, I'll, I'll be having more than 45 minute break but um yeah, I could be in this services for about an hour and a half, I reckon. And then I'll give him another call, see how far away he is, see if we can rendezvous at the same sort of time. He just cut a red light. And see if we can get to site at the same sort of time. But, um, yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, I will just park on the road outside the site. But as long as I leave here before two hours, you can only stay in services for two hours free and then you've got to start paying but um yeah we will we will be stopping in these services for a little bit so that's for sure but yeah no it's been uh it's not been an eventful day it's quite miserable out as the rain is like like quite dull i mean quite dull out not great there's someone there falling asleep <laughs> passenger's got a pillow she's falling asleep so yeah, not, not great. I'm thinking of doing a live stream in a second, so obviously I'm gonna be having a 45 minute break. Whoa, he just cut a lane. I'm gonna have a 45 minute break, and I might do a live stream during that break, because obviously it's my break, I can do what I want. As long as I'm not in control of the vehicle, I can get in and out, do what I like. But we'll see, we'll see how I feel on that one. Right then, where's that car going? That car's going round. We gotta hope there's room for me to park. There better be room at the end. Just waiting for this Mercedes to decide what he's doing. He can't read. Right, so where are we gonna park? I reckon we're gonna park there, look. Go straight down here, look. Next to this cow van. Let's just make sure there's nothing coming on the left or the right. It's all clear. Oh, excellente. caravan look uh, yeah I'm gonna stop here don't want to stop there because loads of vehicles tend to turn up there uh, loads of trucks tend to turn up there to queue up to get in to get the fuel so we're gonna stop here yes this is where we're gonna be right 1126 brake is now on so we need at least a 45 minute break so that's quarter past two half past one according to this uh the clock on here so yeah quarter past two minimum we need a rest <clears throat> and i've been driving now for four hours so i need to get out of this cab and stretch my legs might go to the toilets actually while i'm here uh but before i go i just want to put in where we're actually going so i know how far away we are still because it's not just around the corner i don't think could be another half an hour drive Oh no, it's five miles. It's just around the corner. 13 minutes away. 
So I need a 45 minute break, so it's gonna put it at quarter past two, plus drive time there is gonna be half past two, and it's still an hour early. You will arrive at your destination at 13.44. So if my maths is right, I need an hour and 45 minute break, plus the 15 minutes to get there, that's two hours. That'll be gone, hub. That, yeah, that'll then be gone, half past three. So yeah, I need, I need to phone the guy up and uh, after an hour, yeah, after an hour, work out how far away he is so I can leave at the right time. Can you tell my voice is still a bit croaky? I'm still recovering from my illness last week, which, by the way, is why I didn't do a video uh, the weekend just gone. I can't remember if I've mentioned it or not. Um, I, I planned on recording Thursday and Friday, but I was just too ill, and so I couldn't record. And I thought I'd record today because this is something different, even though I am still recovering from an illness. Just a bit of man flu. That's all it is. Just croaky, croaky. Anyway, half past one. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll let you know what time it is as well. I need to go to the toilet and have a wee wee. What's the one thing I don't like doing? Waiting around. Waiting around. I can't stand waiting around. It's what we've just done. Um, I don't want to wait around anymore. Let's just get a move on. Before something happens and I can't get out or something like that. Because, <clears throat> uh, as I said earlier, a load of, a load of uh, lorry sort of queue up here to get fuel. If you're not careful, you can't get out. Can't really see anything coming on the left. There's a tenon's lorry there. But yeah, let's just get on out of here and we can park on the road where we're delivering to. Not that I actually know where it is exactly, but never mind. So, we've just been sat there for an hour and a half. You're going around there, okay. Yeah, an hour and a half we've just been sat there for. Uh, on break, waiting for this guy to catch up behind. He said his ETA is half past three. Um, we're going to be there at quarter past three, so we're going to be there 15 minutes early, but I can't be bothered to wait another 15 minutes. Just want to get on, get moving. So that's what we're doing. I need to go left here, I need to give way to all these vehicles now. When you're ready, thank you very much. So yeah, I need to wait for this guy to turn up before he uh, offloads me. I've asked him if he's been here before and he said no, he has not. He's never been here before. He doesn't know what it's like. Uh, he doesn't know whether it's a tarmac road, whether it's a grass road or a stone road or mud. It could be anything because we're going to a new site and we're delivering basically the stuff for the workers. Uh, there won't be much work that's actually happened yet, I doubt. So yeah. Could just be a field for all we know. With a bit, bit of gravel in. Don't know how much room there is. I do know it's off of uh, a road called Tola Road. I think it's Tola Road. So that's where we're going. And hopefully we'll see a sign saying Blore Homes. We'll whack the hazards on. Get out and have a word with someone. Just sort of scape the area out a little bit. Because we've got 15 minutes. And then uh, we'll see from there. The only other problem we got is that drive time is quite short. We've only got an hour and 18 minutes left of drive time in a nine hour drive. I don't think I'm gonna make it back home in time, which means I'm gonna to have to extend it to the 10 hour drive, which you can only do twice a week. So um, yeah, and I'm doing this again tomorrow as well. So it looks like I'll be using that both for 10 hour drives today and tomorrow. And if I got to do it again Wednesday, then I'll probably be on a night out, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, we're only 10 minutes away, so uh, let's crack on there and I'll see you when we get a bit closer. Right, we're just around the corner now. We've just got to go past these traffic lights. Um, you won't actually recognise this area in past vlogs. Normally, uh, I would do a delivery with the bolt bags and turn right at those traffic lights and go over there. But um, on this occasion, we are going straight on. Straight on indeed. But, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I've just noticed there's loads of school kids back there where we just came from. So I'm hoping there's no school down this road that we've got to take. Oh, I'm also hoping that it's going to be a relatively quiet road because if it's proper busy, I might cause mayhem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to see on that one. Just waiting for these lights to go green and we can get going. We're literally three quarters of a mile away. 
That car wants to go straight, he wants to turn right by the looks of it. Anyway, we're past the traffic lights, that's what matters. We need to go straight over the next one. It'll be interesting to see whether it's two lanes there that go over the roundabout, because I might need to get into lane two. Oh, this could be entertaining. <laughs> Entertaining for you, maybe. Oh no, it's going into one lane, that's good. The risk of there being two lanes, it, ru it runs the risk of it being a dual carriageway, which is then dangerous to stop on. So I would have had to have turned off, and I don't actually know where I'm going yet. Anyway, we're looking for Blue Homes. Blue Homes, and I'm pretty sure it's called Thatcham Palace or Thatcham Place or something like that. I've not seen any road signs yet. Or AA road signs, they're normally like yellow signs. But then, like I said, it's a new a new site, so I doubt there's any houses actually built yet. <coughs> it's just gonna be a field like this. And we're just putting the port cabins in. It's gonna be fun! Right. Oh there's just two lanes again. <laughs> two lanes. No, the right lane goes straight over. Uh, no, yeah, lane two goes right only. We want to go straight over. <coughs> right, now we need to keep an eye out for floor homes because it's just over this roundabout. All we've been given is Tull Road. Blore homes, Tull Road. We are now on Tull Road. So we need to keep an eye out for for, for Blore homes. I believe it's on the right somewhere just up here. If I were to go on the maps. There's a man in a hive is in the road there. I reckon it's there. It is. Now then, is there much room inside? I need to evaluate this pretty quickly. And turn right. It's just come round the corner on the side of the road. It's only a narrow thing, but... Up here and on the right, and it's only a narrow thing. Well, we found the site at least. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're looking for the next right entrance. Site entrance. Is it there? Yeah, I think it is. Ho ho ho! Now, can we get around this bend? Oh man, that's tight. There's no way I'm getting around that bend. Right, I'm going to have to jump out. Move some stuff around by the looks of it, some fences, and put a high vis and hard hat on as well. Look, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because this has been a bit of a cock up here. We we're on site, they said they didn't want us in here offloading today and that it was due in for tomorrow. So been here for over an hour now, arguing whether or not we can get this unloaded today. They finally let us do it. But the problem is, I'm running very low on working time. I think, <laughs> well, I'm definitely on the night out tonight now. Uh, that's not my worry. My main worry right now is not getting stuck. So bear with. I've got no idea if you're back or not. The uh, 
cable decided to come out. I could get stuck. Don't know what he's beeping for, let me go find out. Right, apparently that's good like that. So, uh, I'll turn the cameras off and uh, get going. Right, you join me back in the cab. We are literally just around the corner now from the yard. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's the thing. <laughs> we have gone over nine hours drive. In fact, we are on nine hours right now. Um, and we're literally three minutes around the corner from the yard. What that means is we're going to do nine hours and three minutes of driving, which is technically a 10 hour shift, or a 10 hour drive rather, not a 10 hour shift, 10 hour drive. So I've only got one more 10 hour now to use for the rest of the week. I expect I'm going to use that tomorrow doing this job again. So that's kind of expected. The other thing is, we started at half past three this morning. <coughs> Did I tell you that? <laughs> Have I mentioned that a few times today? Started at half past three this morning, and it's currently ten past six, which means I've got 20 minutes left, which by law, I have to stop, because then I've done 15 hours. Uh, but luckily, we're around the corner from the yard, so we are gonna stop. When we get to the yard, we're gonna obviously stop shift's going to finish, card's going to come out and um, we would have done pretty much 15 hour shift 15 hours baby but yeah it's getting dark now <coughs> my nose is all blocked up as well I've got to do it all again tomorrow only uh, tomorrow I've got one container for cabin, it's a 32 foot one whereas today I had two 24 foot containers I've got one 32 foot container so that's what I got tomorrow. Uh, the only downside is, again, I've got to wait till the guys uh, get on site as well so they can unload me. And also, all of these things coming tomorrow need interlocking or something. So um, it's going to take longer to uh, set it all up. So we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But yeah, no, it's been a uh, it's been a long day today. Lots of driving. Uh, basically four hours up, four hours down with a little bit of driving in between as well on site uh, and going in services and stuff like that. All in all, it's added up to nine hours. Uh, yeah, no, four hours up. No, three, I don't know, three and a half hours up pretty much, just over. Four hours down and then another hour to our yard plus a little bit of driving in between as well. But uh, yeah, never mind. We're now on the home straight. One more turn to make, and then we've got to find somewhere to park up as well. And I just want to get home, have some food, go to bed, and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you very much to every one of you who has watched this video. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to go check out The Road Legends. It's me, Chucker Jenny UK, Kev T, and Scott Andrews. Link is in the description down below. You get access to all of our content up to 24 hours before it goes live anywhere else. So yeah, thank you very much. Until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.